Hey everyone, D Dub Squizzy here. Welcome back to Elden Ring. So, I think we're making our way towards the volcano in this episode. Pretty sure that's where the path I'm taking is going. Although, frankly, it can be hard to tell because this map is confusing. Oh, well. Uh, of course. It's not like they can really hurt me. Is there a point of grace down there? Let's be honest here, these foot soldiers just do not pack any kind of punch. That was more for Torrent than me. He seemed hurt. Yeah, I'm surprised there's a point of grace right down here. I guess I shouldn't be. They are kind of everywhere in this game. Alright, well, we have another procession. This one defended by some knights as well. Oh, it's, it's defended by a pumpkin head. Kill him first. Uh, let's just shut that down. Oh, there he goes. I knew it was only a matter of time. Whoop. There's the rest of the guards. Oh. These guys are using perfumer equipment and whatever that is. Okay, this guy needs to die. There we go. have glowy eyes. Oh, the glowy eyes mean they give you more runes. That dude just gave me 1,500. Oh, man, they always respond so fast, and I'm never expecting it. I think that's all their defenses. Someone dropped something. I can hear someone talking as well. Great stars. Is that a flail? No. It's just a bludgeon. Interesting. So it's like a, a super morning star is the idea, I think. I get the distinct feeling that if they would actually use their shields, I'd have a much more difficult time killing them. But given that they're not really defending themselves, they're kind of asking for it. 
What is lighting up this place? Yeah, see? Much harder to kill him. Okay, so that's part of the tower. I have been over there. I have not been to these ruins, though. There's a lot of enemies prowling around. a scarab? I can hear like a, a ringing, but not the twinkling that usually accompanies scarabs. What? Is the box around here somewhere? Dude, where's my loot? Guess I just don't get a box. Sad day. Alright. So we have, uh... Three stooges over here. Just kind of watching all of that go down. Not really doing anything about it. Just kind of staring. With vague disinterest. Okay, so these are blood root or uh, scarlet rot ruins by the look of it. Actually, no, these might be bleed dogs now that I think about it. They inflict some kind of bleed buildup. Yep. Whoa! Alright, also. Whoa! What just happened? That thing just insta killed me! Oh good, there's Steak American near here. How did it do that? I have never found a dog that could hit that many times in that short a span of time. Alright, I see the big one. Why is it running so slowly? Was that not the big one? Oh, goodness. Yeah, see, did you see that? They give these things like 17 attacks at a time. Is that a Miranda Bloom? I don't know what that is. Oh, carrying everywhere. I have no interest in fighting all of that. There's a boss here. Oh, one of you guys. Come on. I've never fought a boss variant of one of them. I've just killed normal ones every now and then. Okay, that, that still causes bleed buildup somehow. He was worth 8,000 and no items. Kind of seems like we could have done without the health bar and the music. I assume that's one of their weapons. Where, where are my repairs at? It's a heavy thrusting sword. Noble servants of the Lord of Blood. I forgot about that area. I'm gonna have to go down there eventually, back to that Lord of Blood psychopath place. With the most horrifying of creatures in it. It was eating one of the carrions. That's not disturbing at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, basically you can afford no downtime with these things. They simply have to die the second you get a chance. Because if you leave them be for even, like, a moment, they could kill you. I think that's the last one. Okay. So is that all there was? A bunch of carrion, some nasty dogs, a sword. Oh wait, right, there's this place over here with this thing. What is this thing? Well, it, whatever it is, it's an enemy. It's like super carrion. Ah! Oh, that's a dog. Okay. I have, uh, something for him. Hey, bud. I can't even target this thing. Why? And you're dead. Three hundred rooms. That doesn't feel worth it. You know, I wish I could just have a weapon that was always on fire like that. I always loved the idea of just, like, a flaming weapon that you just carried around. Like, I know you can make your weapon always deal fire damage, but it doesn't have the, you know, the look of being on fire, and that's what I want. That's the thing that would be really cool. But alas, I don't make the games. A lot of these dudes out here. That dude training? Yeah, these guys are everywhere. They're just like the wild animals of this place. No item there, sadly. Alright, I want to finish this place before heading across that bridge. I've been right up here before. Yes, I have. 
I jumped up and jumped back down because I didn't want to come up here yet. Uh-oh. That was an accident. Can I climb back up, please? Where we go? Okay, woo. Uh, well, I mean, there's still some regular dudes just kind of chilling around the place. Oh, they got a pumpkin head. Which means they probably have something fancy over there. weird lilies. Okay. Well, let's go back to the bridge then. Like something came through here violently. Oh, one of those things. The Living Iron Maidens. You guys, survivors of whatever slaughter occurred here? Not anymore. Okay, so there's a bunch of those things. I count four of them so far in this area. Not the best news. I could take one. Unless they can hurt each other, though, taking on more than that would be real complicated. Alright. Oh, there's that one down. I just helped you guys beat that thing, and your first instinct is to attack me the second it's dead. You deserve to die. Uh, let's just take you down while you're isolated. Okay, so we're going up this path, and then I assume we're taking this way right up to this big tree. Where we go from there, I can't tell. That's often how these map things go, I've noticed. You show up, you have no idea where you're going or how to read it, but it makes sense once you actually get into the area. Alright, let's see if I can't just draw you away. Now it looks to be rolling at me. 
Just need to get out of the sight range of the other one, because they seem to have incredible detection skills. Ow. Okay, that just leaves you. Oh, that's why I said visions of snake. I just noticed that there are snakes attached to those weird arms. That's what's controlling these things, is serpents. I really don't know anything beyond that. That's a ladder. That's one giant ladder. Okay. Uh, well, let's just take a look around here. See if there's anything of value in the slaughter grounds. Because I think that's all the Iron Maidens. I think they're all dead now. A lot of loot skulls. That's a lot of dead giants. Okay, we'll be back for that. I'm gonna go up this ladder and see what I can see. There's a long ladder, so it's gonna be quite a climb. How much longer is this climb? <laughs> I feel like I'm climbing the Cliffs of Insanity. Are there more of those things up there? Alright, let's see if it's a cutoff in this direction. Oh! Oh yes, Point of Grace, that's exactly what I wanted. But it looks very faint. No, it's good. Good, good, good. Let me loot these real quick. What's up there? I see something up there at the top. does this go? If this is one big old self-contained area, that'll be fine. The problem is, I can't tell by the map if it actually is or not. Okay, well, you definitely do not go off that way. Can you even climb these? Nope. Those are not meant to be run up. Okay, so that just leaves this direction. Stormhawk. Where? Who? Oh, no, that was just a bird. Okay. They're large birds, but...
saw Pumpkin Head up there. I get the feeling attempting to attack him will draw out whoever's in that tower. Unless he's... Oh. Lightning pots. Boy, you guys just can't have a fair fight, can you? Always gotta call in your ranged bozos. Okay, so I could use that to get over there. That does look like a dead air tree, I think. Oh yeah. That's a, the smoking wreckage of one. Well, let's go down and kill that dude. See what's in the tower. Oh, there's another guy. If only I could aim, this guy would really be getting the business. There he goes. Last one of these I went in really wasn't worth it. Does this thing have, like, 100% fire resistance? I didn't even take damage from his jab at me. Holy bow. Series of pulleys and springs. Okay, so it's like a compound bow? Interesting. Excuse me. Okay, so that's this post cleared. So I could go over there. That actually looks like a place I want to go. Doesn't look like it reaches anywhere else. The fact that you can even burn a minor air tree that way kind of scares me. I feel like that would not be an easy thing to accomplish. Oh, got a Scion. Okay, it looks like it does lead somewhere else. There's another ladder up there. Man, this game, every time I think I've reached somewhere... Like a stopping point. It just lures you in. Is that all that was... Whoa. Some other loot. Little hidden lily. Oh, let's go up this ladder then.
So far, the area hasn't been too difficult. Got a banner? Thought I heard something suspicious as I was approaching. Now I know why. Man, that could have gone much worse. Another ladder over there. They both look like they lead relatively to the same place, though. Actually, no, they don't. Oh, this place is going to be a nightmare to navigate. Oh, uh, hello. I will say, unlike those various types of lilies, sacramental buds I really use. Or at least I used to. Don't know if I really have much use for them now. I don't go up against Scarlet Rod all that much, now that I'm out of Kaelid and out of the Lake of Rot. But if I ever do encounter it again, or an area that needs it, or have to go back to one of those awful nightmare locations, now I can. This isn't good. Yellow embers are around whenever you have madness. Is that a madness night? Oh yeah. Oh, there's more of them. More knights! Saw some room against the edge. Ow! Now I don't. That was, uh, that was pretty close a couple times there. Ow. Okay. They're all dead now, right? Where 
eye of Yellog. There's the other ladder. Whoa. Big old fortress. More eye of Yellog. Is this a Rykard thing? The Assault of Icano, Volcano Manor, the Squall of the Sixth, the Blasphemous, a wretched unending war with no glory. Okay. That's a little overdramatic, but whatever. Is there anything in that direction? I just want to get a point of grace, work my way back down the other ladder. I don't know, I'm just trying to section things off here, but man, they're not making it easy. So I go up that way. There's a rope bridge here. Is there... Okay, there's a point of grace on the other side. I can run through, grab that, consider this section cleared. Well, not quite. Not yet. Okay. This path... Given the map, it looks like I'm going to go up into whatever this thing is, which is potentially a boss fight of some kind. The map is deceptive, because you can't see the ladders on it, so you don't really know what leads where. Okay, demi humans. As far as standard enemies go... Probably, like, best-case scenario. Oh, right, the little, little knifey, squirmy ones. Get rid of them. Nothing else up there. Okay, and we have a dungeon. Yeah, I'll be right with you guys. Alright, I see the chief. Not really afraid of those guys, though, so... I don't need to drop in on him or anything. It's much better to have your area planned out. They can hardly scratch me. If anyone can, it's that thing. Come on, buddy. Let's see what you're made of. dudes are stabbing at me with their clubs. Stabbing with clubs. I can think of no better idea. Okay. Let's see what we're dealing with. Another one of these? cannon. What is that? Is that a gun? It's a ballista. Use explosives to fire great bolts. Deals great damage, but is slow to reload. I can use that thing. It doesn't even take anything to fire it. 
It weighs a lot. I'm gonna have to try that out at some point. Or I could use that thing to teleport me out. The only problem with that is every time I use one of those, it seems to respawn the enemies. I would much prefer them to not respawn. There's a thing up there. Hold up. Where? Where's the path? Is there actually a hidden path? This looks like it would be, but it isn't. Is that the point of this drop-down over here? Does this somehow... No. But that does give me an inkling. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay. There's a path over here. Nothing's, like, super fantastic, but more loot is more loot. And I'm up at 100,000 runes. I would like to spend them, but doing so would require me to rest. And I don't want to do that yet. I'd be cool resting after I explore that other path down the ladders. Then I want to recross back to the tower and explore the area past that. This way is out, right? How did I get in here? Is it this way? It's this way. Let's run. Boy, I tell ya. Mount Gelmir has probably seen better days. Not that I really have any reason to believe that. But it is a, a mess. Like, everything is dead. And while most things in the game are always trying to kill me, these ones actually give an impression of they'd try to kill anything. Oh, welcome. For any reason. Somehow yes, this dude is still way. alive. Well, welcome, valued cast. Please, I'm angry. Volcano pot? Yeah. Coarse hooded cloak of olive brown. Garb of those accused of lesser crimes. Indicated by the collar of sharpened branches. Huh. What's a volcano pot? That's oil. Is that this thing? Yeah. Creates a heat cloud, causing continuous fire damage. All it takes is volcano stone. That's pretty good. And it only takes cracked bots to make some. I have a lot of Altus Bloom. But I also don't have an interest in creating those perfume things. That seems much more like a... Uh, playing with other people kind of deal. A lot of them affect crowds and buff your allies, but I don't really have any allies. Oh wow, he just massacred that dude. Oh, 
well, nothing fantastic. Like I said before, though, sacramental buds, those are worth grabbing. Did I kill anything over here? I can't remember if this area was deserted when I arrived or not. Okay, so let's try to... How is there an item here? Must have missed that somehow. Let's try to go up this direction, see if I can find a point of grace up here, or if this area just... is finished. Either one will do. Sky wolves. Of that castle? No, this is a much smaller structure. That's great advice. Much smarter are the people who took that advice. This looks almost like a hero's grave. This is a hero's grave. Sage's ruins were, were at this lake thing. I have not been up here at all. And it looks like this is not the way to reach them. You probably have to go, like, all the way around and cross this or something like that. Oh, there's some death root in here somewhere. Okay. Level up. So here's the deal. I haven't really explored much of down this way. I want to do that, though. I've now got this thing that leads over here by the looks of it. But does it connect up with the Volcano Manor area? Is it possible that you can't even enter the castle at all until you complete the Volcano Manor questline? I don't know. We'll have to see. So the goal is we go up this way, clear out whatever is over here. See if this connects to other stuff. It probably will. It's hard to tell from the map. Up here is finished. This area over here is finished. We just have to go through the hero's grave. And then we'll start in... Once we go over here, if that connects and other stuff, we'll try to do that first. Then I'm pretty sure we'll have to continue from here. Maybe. But that's it for this one. So next one we'll be picking up in the Gelmir hero's grave. Finding whatever death route might be down here. And then continuing our exploration from there. Thank you all for watching.